Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. The drainage is opposite of irrigation. Drainage is carried out during the rainy season. Whereas irrigation is carried out during the dry season. Drainage is the artificial removal of excess water from the soil surface to provide a proper and enabling environment for crop growth. I think it again. Drainage is the artificial removal of excess water from the soil surface to provide a conducive and proper environment for crops growth. Why, what are the importance of drainage? Or that, why do we practice, practice drainage? Number one, drainage reduces, removes excess water out of the farmland. Two, it enables farmer to reclaim his land for cultivation of crops. Three, it reduces soil acidity. Four, it removes excess salt out of the soil. Five, drainage enables farmers to use farm tools and equipment on the farmland. Drainage enables farmers to use farm tools and equipment on the farmland. Drainage cools the soil, thereby restoring the soil temperature to the normal. Drainage helps the microorganism, bacteria, and etc. in the soil to continue the process of the commercial organic matter. So we can say drainage increases the fertility of the soil. Now, what are the types of drainage system? We have two types of drainage systems. This include surface drainage, and surface drainage. So this drainage is also called underground drainage. Surface drainage and subsurface or underground drainage. Soil drainage involves the opening of the soil, construction of open ditches, channels or trenches on the, on the farmland to direct excess water out of the farmland. It involves the opening of the soil and construction of open ditches, channels and trenches on the farmland to direct excess water out of the farmland. Meanwhile, um, subsurface irrigation involves the opening of the soil and the arrangement of pipes or molds or ties under the soil to direct water out of the farmland below the soil surface. Advice of surface irrigation include number one, excess water is easily removed out of the farmland. Two, it is cheaper to practice. Three, it does not require technical inputs. Number four, uh, the crops can be easily grown on the land after the drainage. The crops can be easily grown on the farmland after the drainage. Disadvantages. Number one, it hinder the, the, the trenches and channels in that free movement of farm machinery. In that free movement of farm machinery. The dishes or trenches make the farmland untidy. The farmland becomes untidy. The farmland becomes untidy. Next, ditches occupy part of the farmland that could have been used for planting. Ditches occupy part of the farmland that could have been used for planting. These are the advantages of surface drainage. Then some surface drainage. I said it involved the arrangement of pipes or moves or ties under the soil to direct excess water out of the farmland. Now, advantages include number one. It does not hinder free movement of farm machinery. Two, complete number of crops can be grown on the land. Complete number of crops can be grown on the land. That is for subsurface drainage. It does not hinder free movement, free movement of farm machinery, but it has some disadvantages. Number one, it is expensive than surface drainage. It's expensive. Two. The tiny holes on the pipes may be blocked, thereby frustrating all the drainage process. Now, I believe we have come to the end of irrigation and drainage. Make sure you attempt all the questions that will pop up on your screen. Should there have difficulty in answering all the questions, do not hesitate to refer to your video. God bless you.